Well, hey guys, welcome back to Warner's Family Homestead. Well, today I'm going to vacuum seal a little bit of stuff, and I'm not going to break this stuff down. I'm going to vacuum seal it in the container it's in, and I'll show you why when I get that done, and uh, maybe help you guys prep a little bit as well. So. Bear with me just a minute. I'm going to put it on time lapse and let you watch me do. I've only got three things to do. Of course, you know, with a vacuum sealer, you have to make the bag, so I have to turn this thing on, make the end of the bag and all that good stuff. But just hang on with me. All right, guys, that was quick and easy. So, you know, there's an old saying, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, I eat breakfast every day. I cook most days. But either way, um, a five-pound bag of grits will go a long ways. These things just about triple in size when you cook them. And then I also got an extra five pound bag of buttermilk cornmeal mix and complete pan paint. All you've got to do is add water to this stuff. Makes it easy to fix and yeah, not the healthiest stuff in the world, but it fills bellies. And syrup pretty much doesn't go bad. It's so full of sugar and some of it's got honey. It doesn't go bad. So this stuff will last a long time. They tell you when you store this, you should always freeze everything for about 24 to 48 hours and and then, you know, do what you're going to do with it. But I like to vacuum seal it first. That way I can get what air is in there out and some of the moisture and stuff. And same way here. And I'm going to put this stuff in my little inside the house chest freezer and let it freeze for several weeks before I move it from here to the outside freezers and that way I don't have to worry about anything any you know surviving in there that that I wouldn't want to be in there so anyway I'm gonna write the date on them with a sharpie the day that I've done them and get them put in the freezer and they will stay there until I get time you know two three four five days from now to take them out to the bigger freezers out in the buildings. But anyway, it's just an idea. It's really simple to do. Since you make your own size bag with the rolls of the vacuum seal bags, you can vacuum seal anything that'll fit width wise in this bag. And as you can see, a five pound bag or this, I think this is a five pound box of pancake mix fits in there pretty easy. So you can put a lot of product in there. But again, you can store it long term with in a Mylar bag, oxygen absorbers and all that, but it's still best to freeze it first and make sure you get a much longer shelf life out of it because you're freezing it long enough that any eggs in there, or any, you know, that might be in it will be dead. Then you Mylar bag it with the oxygen absorber and it'll pretty much last you for, you know, 15, 20, 30 years, whatever the product is. But anyway, just thought I'd share that with y'all. I still prep every time I go shopping. Typically I buy something that's going to, you know, to help me if crap hits the fan. Um, I've actually got one more thing I bought that I wanted to show y'all. So while I was, you know, in Walmart spending more money than I needed, I found this. And I hope that's not backwards to y'all. It looks backwards to me. But um, bleed stop, it's for, you know, minor wounds or bigger wounds. You can put on the wound and help stop bleeding. 
even for people like me on blood thinners it says so on the package and then I also got some more of the portable aqua you know tabs to, to sanitize your water so it's an iodine tablet but the other bottle in here takes out the bad taste from the iodine so that the water not only is safe to drink but also doesn't taste bad but I always pick up little stuff like that when I go shopping. So just something to think about. Guys, if you enjoy this kind of content, if I help you at all learning how to prep or give you some ideas, I would appreciate a thumbs up and subscription. It doesn't cost you anything whatsoever, and it really helps us small channels. So y'all remember what I always tell you. Jesus Christ loves you, and so do I. Y'all be safe. Be prepared.